what up it's your boy Jay Banksy coming back with another video and today we got twins the Twinkies versus the Red Sox game one of the three game series and the reason I call them the Twinkies is because these guys are soft they always play the Sox tough but then they'll play New York and they'll wet the bed and get blown out by 70 runs or give up five runs when they're up four. And the Yankees will come back and win. You guys just look at the evidence from last season. I did a few videos on it. Pathetic. Now, I took the day off yesterday. Yes, the Rays beat us 12 to 4. Blowout, you know. I did say, you know, we needed a JD Homer. And we got one. I did say we needed a Thomas James Fam Homer. We got one. And um yeah, they beat us and now we're here. Um, but a more important note. I gotta stand up for this one. Gotta stand up. Gotta stand up. Gotta stand up. Very important announcement. Very important. Very important. As of yesterday... August 29th, Sawamura has been designated for assignment. Now, for most of you that are new, if you're new, Hirokazu Sawamura is the worst pitcher on the Boston Red Sox. <laughs> is the worst pitcher on the Red Sox. And me and Sawamura had a a very love-hate relationship. He was one of those guys that, you know, when he came in the game, you didn't expect much. But when he did well, you know, you were really proud. It's just he rarely did well. Ever since game one of last year's ALCS, I haven't looked at him the same. And it carried over into this season. And he did so shockingly bad during his last stretch that I was borderline disgusted with him. But at the same time, I hate to see him go. And it's like one of those guys that, you know, you you like to make fun of, but they keep you going in a way. And Salmora kept me going because, you know, I would live to see him mess up, you know what I'm saying, just so I could be like, see, it's Salmora's fault. Now, Salmora DFA going down to AAA, which basically means he's going to be gone soon, means that I have to now find a new scapegoat and I kind of like the rest of the guys you know Austin Davis also another one that's gone another one that I can't blame it on so Samora wish you the best of luck and um yeah hopefully that whatever team you go to hopefully the Yankees will pick you up so that way they they'll have to deal with you um wish you the best of luck um Ladies and gentlemen that are watching, I'd just like to have a moment of silence for Salamora. All right? So we're just going to start right now. And that's over. Some moment of silence over. Let's get to the highlight, all right? Jeez. That is not what I'm going to do. You thought I was giving a moment of silence for Salamora? <laughs> Come on, man. Who did you think I was? I'm not that soft. All right. We got Dylan Bunzy on Bundy on the mound. Bunzy Bundy. Because we were tagging this man up. And then just somehow the, the twins just came out and shut us down after that. Former Angels pitcher. I know this. Thomas James Pham. It doesn't matter. Speed. Speed kills. Get back. Get back. Speed kills. Another hit for Thomas James. Verdugo. Never mind. Actually, I don't know if he got a hit or not. No, he not. Xander, fly out. All right, I mean, Thomas James Pham got a hit at least. Um, Brian Bayo still looking for his first win as a Boston Red Sox. He's been in the organization for about a month now. It's just we haven't had uh, the bats behind him. Verdugo making the play. 
Correa, Smellia. If he was in that Houston orange and blue, that one was going way out. We got a guy. Fam did the little samba. But, but we good, Thomas James. Hold on, does he make this play? Oh, yeah, I forgot. We got Christian Oboyo over there at first base. What a scoop. No replays, MOB? No replays? If I was uh, Bobby, I'd be pretty alarmed because, yeah, Christian Arroyo playing second or first base. Hey, I'm not mad. Oh, yeah, what a play. What a play. We'll see more Rafi coming up, hopefully. I didn't check this highlight. Thomas James, <laughs> two for two, casual. This casual. What a hitter. I don't know if I said a hitter, hitter, or a hitter. Well, we know this guy's a hitter, hitter. Come on now. You ain't catching that, baby. And look at Thomas James. Speed, 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 speed. Yes, sir. Thomas James. Look at that dog. Verdugo. Got that dog. Thomas James, give me some nuts, my boy. Bogarts. Nah, I ain't scoring no run. That ain't scoring a no run. That was a little soft hit. Come on, dude. You got to be on your horse, my boy. They got him at first and third with a run already in. That's the right center field. And <sighs> that was a nice play. It's a hell of a play by Kepler. And the runner can't score. And the Red Sox it's just unfortunate because we need those runs. First and third, one out with a lefty. You need those runs in. Devers, I don't know if you watch that at bat, but Devers didn't really have that good of a swing. He swung at the first pitch. Which normally is a strike, but wasn't really competitive, and then JD strikes out. So that's the situation where we need those runs. Oh, this is the play. Look at the play. Ooh, that's so clean, bro. So clean. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Sandy Leon. Still the only active Hall of Famer in the uh, MLB. Actually, besides Pujols. That's a fair ball. Another active Hall of Famer. I forgot Rafael Devers. Um, Bayo's hype. What a catch. Shout out Trevor Story. Welcome back. He also had another hit. That fair ball? Ooh, Franchi. Cordero's been hitting real well. I just wish he had that hit. He got that hit against the Jays, man. Damn. Look at Reese. I'm telling you. That boy Reese, man. He get hits, bro. I'm boy Reese. But typical Red Sox. That was it. Second and third. One out. Didn't get out of it. Didn't, um, didn't score. Or, what am I saying? Yeah, we didn't score. One out. Second and third. And then, bases loaded just like that. And Jake Cave, the, the guy is known for, for hitting the Red Sox really well. Um, I don't know if you guys watched last year. Um, they took us to extras, the Twins did, and Cave unnecessarily when they were already up two. Hit a three-run shot. So I was pretty pissed at that. Throw it to first, my boy. I mean, it's whatever the ump rules it. It was definitely a foul ball. Oh, it's a fair ball. Wow, that was in front of the plate. I like this much. So Bayo's out. Strom is in. What a block by Reese. 
Cubs have the bases loaded, and it will be garlic. So bases loaded. Smell ya. But then Gio Urshela comes up. Two outs. And what a lucky swing. Look at this swing. Hold on. I'm going to run this back. Look at this swing. It is such a give me, give up, oopsie swing, bro. Uh, great piece of hitting. I can't even be mad. It's just because it's against my squad. Everybody's running on two outs. Man. Even when he's not on the Yankees, he's giving us fits. And like that, the Twins lead four to two. Lopez will face McGuire, Pham, and Verdugo with a two-run lead. Top nine. To third, and Urshela. One out. Thomas James. Two down. Dugo. And the Twins' winning streak is extended to four games. A three-run. No, I'll get it on Verdugo. I'll leave it on Verdugo. Come on, man. Let's get a nice ending. Uh, bam. <laughs> Looking hella confused. Well, Sox lost 4-2 to the Twinkies. But, hey, look, we could still take two out of three. Consider this a series dub. I mean, why not? Um, At the end of the series, I've been saying, like, once it hits September, I will be giving a speech. Um, on whether the Sox should make a playoff push and we're on the right track or, I mean, we should just tank it and get ready for next season because um, right now it's pretty shocking um, on the Red Sox um, second half and uh, don't really know where we're going to go from there. But yeah, Sox lose 4-2. But on brighter news, Sal Mora's gone. Smell ya. And um, we're just on to Minnesota again. All right. It's been your boy Jay Banksy. And I'll see you when I see you. Peace.